right, nacho it's time. time. This is so cool. Baron, have you ever attempted to make these before? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like the most delicious part of that meal for me was the meat. But going into the copycat round, our beef is the main star for me. So I'm gonna go right into getting my beef made, which is gonna take some time. The Taco Bell seasoning is known for its seven spices. I'm gonna caramelize those while it's cooking because when you have spices, you need to get them hot with oils to actually release their fragrance. If you look in here, there's like a, a lot of oil separated now, but the oil is all the flavor. So I'm just gonna emulsify the fat back into the meat. Y'all really be going at it like this, huh? Oh yeah, got to. <laughs> So for the nachos bel grande, I've got to get the spice down for this meat. I'm going to break it up really fine. I'm actually going to add some flour that's going to create a roux to kind of get that jamminess the Taco Bell meat has. Then it's all about the cheese sauce. I'm going to use kind of a mixture of uh, Velveeta and American cheese to get it nice and melty. Oh yeah, no, that's my specialty. Velveeta, <laughs> melting right. Velveeta cheese. Can I make my own nacho cheese sauce? Yes. Am I going to for this? No. no. <laughs> I'm going to just take this. And I'm, oh, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna thin it out a little bit. I'm gonna season it a little nicer. But ultimately, yeah. that's what it is, that's right? That's that good stuff right yeah. there. Good. That's that guap, that <laughs> All right, so Baron, we have two kinds of chips. We have the store-bought ones, and then we also have corn tortillas. So neither of them are exactly like Taco Bell, so I figured I'll make some homemade tortilla chips, and then I'll use some store-bought tortilla chips, mix it together, hoping that coming together, they will find the middle ground to Taco Bell. I'm gonna use just your giant muscles to just like mash it, and you know, that's how we're gonna make that ground meat into basically a meat jam. Okay. Which sounds delicious, <laughs> doesn't it? Uh, can we bottle <laughs> that and, and sell that in store? Of course we can. Baron's Meat Jam. It's a slam dunk. Not available in stores. the copycat round today, we have to make the nachos bel grande from Taco Bell. This is a whole new level of crunch. So for my version of the copycat cinnamon twist, I'm actually taking the churro route. Crack that egg, and we're gonna go right into this mixer. So inside of here, I create like a little dough. Oh, this is gonna be fire. It's like you're cutting a blunt. <laughs> Grip right there. Yeah. We'll do like six inch. Okay, let's hold there. It looked like churros so far. I know. I'm so excited. That looks good. My uncle, all his fingers look like that. <laughs> they all the same size. <laughs> we'll call these uncle fingers. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my cinnamon twist just a little bit different. I'm just gonna go for texture. I'm going for styrofoam. Okay. Right? Oh, so I like that. I'm just gonna basically take these, these, it's basically rice, and when you throw them in the fryer, they pop up. But then how do you twist that and then put all the air so inside? I'm, I'm not even gonna try to twist it. I know I'm not gonna really nail that iconic spiral shape, but I think I can get close to like that styrofoamy, like bubbly texture. Baron likes to mix the medium with the fire. So what I'm gonna do is make him his perfect sauce. I'm gonna take some whole canned tomatoes, puree those up, and then add all of those Taco Bell spices. Tell me that that is not Taco Bell sauce. I made the sauce. Nobody else see, I kept my little secret. Bye. All right, Baron, you wanna go grab your seat over there? We're gonna plate up and eat some food. 